Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by some process. In this video, we are going to see how to assign gender in our app using an automated rule. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing and press bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. Gender attribute is used to specify gender value for which your product is intended. So if your product varies by gender, submit the gender attribute. When gender information is provided, it helps customers to filter products accurately on the basis of gender in Google Shopping ads results and can ultimately increase the chances of purchase. Google uses gender information along with the size and age group attribute defined in the product feed to strain the right products with standardized sizes that are to be shown to customers. Gender attribute is required for all the products of apparel, an accessories category to be eligible for enhanced free listing in addition to shopping ads on Google or other similar kinds of marketing platforms to run similar kinds of ad format. Before proceeding ahead with assigning gender value, to resolve the warning message of missing value gender flag by Google Merchant Center, please ensure that you have assigned the correct Google product category to all your products. We are suggesting this because, if Google product category is not assigned by you, as per your products, in that case, Google automatically assigns a product category. There are times when the product category assigned by Google is observed to be inaccurate, the required attribute for this inaccurate product category may differ from the actual product requirements. Let's have a look at one use case we created for a demo. Here we are filtering a product using error from Merchant Center and selecting missing value gender. It shows one product with that warning. As we can see, Google product category is also not assigned for this product. Upon checking the same product in the Google Merchant Center, we can clearly see that this is a seasonal home decoration product as visible in the product image and stated in the product title. But Google has automatically categorized this product under necklaces, which falls under the category of apparel and accessories. And, as mentioned earlier, gender value will also be required for all apparel and accessories products, Google has raised a warning for missing value gender. So now to resolve this warning, we just need to assign the correct Google product category for this product within a wrap. It can be assigned using the do edits in bulk feature. Once the Google product category is updated in the Merchant Center, warnings related to missing value gender, age group, and color will also vanish automatically without assigning the gender value within the app. The supported values we can choose from are male, female, unisex. We need to assign just one of the above values to the gender field. Hence, we recommend submitting an accurate gender value. Adding gender can help ensure that your products are shown with the right search results, which will result in boosting the conversion rate. Now let's proceed with assigning gender using automated rules. The automated rules for assigning the gender within the app can be created using the options listed below. We are going to see some of the commonly used scenarios and use cases. From the app's interface, please hover over the settings menu and select automated rules for feed. Now click on the plus icon and select gender. The dialog window will appear where we are proceeding ahead by selecting the product title from the first drop-down menu, followed by contains any of as operator and entering women, lady, or girl in the value field. To enter a second condition, to be combined with the first, select and. For now, we are going to use our option for adding multiple independent conditions. For second condition, we will use the product tag from the first drop-down menu. Subsequently we are using equals as operator, followed by female as condition value. To choose the typed value either click on female or simply press enter. We are also going to add a third condition set using or. This time by selecting vendor or brand from the first drop-down menu with equals as operator, 
and selecting brand name, new line fashion, from the list as the value. For this set of rules, we are assigning female as gender. So if the product is satisfying any one condition in the rules, then female will get automatically assigned to it under gender attribute. Similarly, we will create another set of rules to assign the gender attribute male, but don't worry, we will show you at a faster pace. After saving two or more condition sets, when we hover over any condition set box, we can see up and down arrows along with the bin icon. These arrows help us modify the priority of condition sets so it can be sequenced accordingly for its implementation. Finally, we are adding another rule for products that are made for both males and females by selecting product type from the first drop-down menu, followed by selecting contains any of as an operator and entering hoodie and sweatshirt as condition values. For this condition set, we will choose unisex as value for gender attribute. Once all the rules are defined, we will save this as a draft. At this screen, the saved rule can be reviewed before applying, and if you wish to change or modify it, you can do so by clicking on this draft rule box. The entire rule can be deleted, if not required, by clicking on this discard draft option. For now, let's apply this rule so that app can submit the gender values to Google Merchant Center for each product variant based on the condition it is satisfying. Please note, after applying any automated rule within a wrap, it will take about 30 to 45 minutes to reprocess the feed and submit it to respective marketing platforms. Now let's check how these applied rules look like within the app and Google Merchant Center. Please navigate to the Manage Products page in the app. Now as we have created a rule to assign the gender value to female, where the product's having women in the title. In a similar fashion, we will check if the rule is applied or not by directly clicking on the product. Or can search here if you have many products by typing women, and all the products with women in the title will show up in the results. Let's click on the first product, women's high heel boots, to go on the product page. You might find it strange, even though the product title satisfies and validates the rule, still we are seeing that gender value is not selected and assigned here. The gender value is only visible here when it assigned using any of the following methods. If it is synced from the product meta field from your Shopify store, it is assigned within the app using the do edits in bulk feature of the app. Assigned automatically is defined in the default settings of the app. We have also added a help video links for above methods and features in the description below. To make it clear, any qualifying value for gender which should be assigned automatically based on the feed rules applied will be reflected within the Google Merchant Center and other marketing platforms directly. Please note, if you assign any value on the product page using any of the above three methods, along with that, if you are also creating a rule, then the value satisfying automated rule will be given precedence and it will be submitted in the feed with final product data attributes. Now let's check if the gender value assigned through automated rule has been submitted to the Google Merchant Center or not by clicking on the direct link here. As we can see on the Google Merchant Center's product page, the gender attribute already shows the female value under the raw feed attribute section. Similarly, let's check another product which is Hootie, for which we have created an automated rule with a condition that if the product type contains hoodie or sweatshirt, then unisex should be assigned automatically as gender value. As we can see on the product details page of Merchant Center, gender value unisex is assigned automatically in accordance with the rule created. We are sure, after watching this video, you might have realized the importance of creating automated rules and how they can ease the process of product feed submission for you. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing.
See you again in another video.